sing of things I knew. Sweet, pretty girls right off their feet. Ooh, if only for an hour beneath the water tower. Whiskey, wine, and sound so sweet. Love me some bluegrass. Thank you, guys. I'm 
Feeling good, y'all. Thank you. Hello, we are Kevin Daniel and The Bottom Line, and you're watching the Extended Play Sessions. Uh, we're going to hit you with a song called City That Saves. songs the city that saves hallelujah till she washes away she gave me power in my darkest hours and to hold me gently when I answer my grave It takes love, it takes spirit and the fight.
I was extremely shy, believe it or not, and I didn't really want to be on stage, but I did love to sing. And I met a guy who played guitar, and he forced me to go to an open mic, and he forced me to go again, and now I just can't stop. Bottom of the ocean, pure as a newborn baby. I'll shine the sun above is a pretty good love. There are times I know you feel downhearted, and I'm not really sure what to say. I hate to see you that way I don't know what to say But you gotta know I'll be here for you feel this way till I met you Baby, I never knew that I could feel this way till I met you Just took one look at you, baby Same old story. Tell me how does it end? Oh, it's the same old blues, the same old blues again. It's the same old blues, same old blues again.
Every day the morning sun is waiting patient on you. Even when the darkened clouds hide the warmth and the view. The cynic and the secluded, that's a lot to bring round. I can dream another dream and try to let it unfold. I can do with what I got, ain't no need to be bold. But a storm is a brewing again. I'm itching to leave, or maybe find me some shelter.
Hello, we're High Season, and you are watching the Extended Play Sessions. The name of this song is Fort Lee Skyline. Sometimes sun can be by blinding. It might take you by surprise. Sometimes you don't know what you're finding Some things we don't recognize Why not take a chance we're moving In a similar place in time Life just needs a little tuning Love just waiting on sign oh to see the Fort Lee skyline in old Mars majesty oh to see the Fort Lee skyline when you sit here with me won't you sit with me all the light you need some things are just mesmerizing love you as kid has been received hope to see the Fort Lee skyline in old Mars majesty hope to see Do, do, do. 
yesterday's flowers now The candy I bought is gone and forgotten how And the love I sought is even forgotten how accused of singing myself blue over you um, all use is prize now baby when you look in my eyes and you find me now that it's true explain you and I yeah it's all over now baby but the rain that keeps falling is the only thing that hides these tears in my eyes well you are in for a treat tonight um sound check the hair on my arms was standing up this is world class jazz um and we are super psyched to have Daniela Schechter in the house tonight. So a uh, couple of things, door you came in and out of is the door that you go in and out of, but there's an emergency exit behind me. Just know where it is. We never expect to use it, but just know where it is. Um, you can use a camera. Please turn your flash off. Uh, please turn your cell phone volume off. This music tonight, um, that will interfere if your phone rings. So please turn your cell phone volume off and uh, Enjoy yourselves tonight because, as I said, you are in for a very special treat. So we'll be bringing them out shortly. Let's get one big, loud applause here because we are live around the world tonight. All right. Have a good time. See you in a bit. It only keeps me waiting, man.
Thank you very much. A little bit of love now. Come on, keep it coming. Yeah. This one's called She's on Fire. Hello, we are the Daniela Schechter Quartet, and you're watching the extended play sessions. And the name of this song is L'Incertezza.
Thank you.
Thank you. That's entitled Whitman's Pond. Whitman's Pond, one of my originals.
Thank you. That's another original entitled um, Needless to Say.
inside of me there's a light burning my soul and the light is you look at that moon inside of me shine in the darkness in my loneliness and the moon is you now close your eyes don't be afraid I want to be ground for your roots Thank you. That light is you. This next tune is entitled um, Hint of Spring. And I'd like to introduce the band. I know we are in the fall, but uh, I wrote the tune <laughs> in spring um, when I was pregnant of about two years ago. So um, that reminds me of new life. I'd like to introduce Li uh, Lihi Aruvi on saxophones. <laughs> Chiala Kumehiva on bass. <laughs> and Bertram Lehman on drums <laughs> and kicks. <laughs> My name is Daniela Schechter, thank you. Hint of Spring.
Thank you. This next tune is entitled Apostille.
Thank you.
Thank you. That's, a, that's an old composition of mine titled The Moon and the Fisherman.
Lihi Haruvi on saxophones. Kiala Kumehiva on bass. Bertram Liman on drums. My name is Daniela Schachter. Thank you so much. This is Daniela Schachter Quartet. And say, thank you so much, Bill, for organizing this. Thank you. Play the melody. Messi, Messi has to do the visual. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Yeah, do that.
Thank you. Lihi Harubi, Kiala Kumehiva, Bertram Lehman, Daniela Sharta. Thank you. Good night. Let's hear it one more time, Daniela Schechter. What a great band. All right, we're gonna take a short break and then we'll bring them back on and we'll have a little chat, grab a drink at the bar, make sure you get a poster. Uh, they'll be out mingling around for a bit, and then we'll bring everybody back on stage for our uh, little interview portion of the show. So stick around. We are the Evan Goudreau Band. You're watching the extended play sessions. The name of this song is called Let's Burn Everything. I'm looking for the love, redirection. Starting over is never easy. But we do it anyway. Searching for the right words at the right time. 
I'll trust my hands cause they know what to do They shed their light on They shed their light on Everything Let's burn everything Let's burn everything Still standing. I'm gonna rise from the ashes. I look the world dead in the eye. We all play a part in the madness. We could only see a tumble bird on its own. Pretty faces, they're gonna come and they're gonna go. Now, when you reach the bottom, then you'll no more. You love, you love, let's burn everything. Let's burn everything. Now, let's burn. Still standing Still standing. I love it. Still standing. Thank you very much. We're gonna stretch out on this one. We're gonna jam a little bit, okay? I want 
One, two. <coughs> Check one. I got nothing. Check. 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 I still got nothing. You can have one. I'm here? All right, I'm good. There we go. All right, roll cams. So, wow. Like, all I can say is, wow. Um, how, how much did you rehearse together for, for this? <laughs> um, very little. Uh, not enough. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, plenty enough. Man, it was sounded like you'd been playing this together for 30 years. Um, 
but I know you didn't really have a lot of, uh, a, a lot of rehearsal time, which for me just kind of serves to emphasize how great these four players are. So, um, <laughs> Well, we, um, we rehearsed, uh, we didn't really have the time to rehearse all together, so we rehearsed first with Kiala and Lihi and me, and then with, with Bertram, Lihi and me, so we never really rehearsed together. <laughs> but, we <laughs> but we played together a lot yeah. in general, so we, mm, so we, we, uh, we were lucky to, to have also a great audience, so that was appreciative, and that, that helped a lot. Does that, um, let me ask you, that does that raise the level when you're playing, when you get that loop with the audience? Definitely. I mean, especially with the uh, lack of rehearsal, I think we're a little <laughs> more on edge because uh, we have to be, the radar has to be up a little higher. And then feeling the audience as well yeah, is, is very big. We're, we're not always used to people paying attention to us. <laughs> Lee, you want to take that a bit? I agree. No, uh, yeah, <laughs> and it's it's really wonderful. I think uh, we could really feel. I could personally really feel the energy and having people uh, close. So I just want to thank everybody for being here. And yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Let's go into a little bit of background. Um, you're from Italy. I'm from Italy and uh, Sicily. Uh, nice. <laughs> and um, I like to specify because we are different. Um, uh, different state, uh, culture, and food. Food-wise, is much better than Italy. Yeah. Go to Sicily. <laughs> go to Sicily. Don't go just in the main. Go to you know Rome, Florence. Great, but Sicily is different. Um, so this said, yes, I'm from Sicily. And how long have you been here? Um, oh, twenty years. Twenty years. Yes, twenty years. Did you come here for music? I came here for music, and uh, I studied at Berkeley first, and um, so I came here just um, to explore and, and experience um, um, college here, and then uh, I decided to stay, and, and then now I teach at Berkeley, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Did piano come first or vocal? Piano. And what the, uh, as I said before, what I, what I kind of like to or, or what I talk about is what I see and what I kind of feel from the from the stage, and the the, the harmonization between you and Lee. I mean, it was amazing. You would, you were in in complete matched pitch with with it's, it was amazing. And then you know, going into stuff like uh, I, I Blackbird with you know reharmonizing underneath like that was just kind of. You know, just just, a, just an amazing thing thank you, to watch. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm actually I feel very lucky to um, have met uh, Lee here because I actually know Bertram. We were just uh, thinking, okay, how long have we have been um, playing with each other? It's been a while, and um, decades. And uh, and uh, with Kiala. Uh, well, I'm only here since, uh, you know, 1999, so don't make, you know, people think I'm so <laughs> old. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, quit Kiala a little bit less, but with Lihi, basically last week, I met her, so we just, we just played uh, these two rehearsals, and that's it. And, you know, I'm, I'm so happy I met her, because she really worked very hard at, at the music, and uh, she, and I feel we have some kind of uh, connection. And uh, I'm really gla glad to have worked, and, and I'm sure that it's going to um, start a collaboration for the future. Yeah. Can I add a story? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> so out of the two times uh, prior to today that we played together, <laughs> uh, I started to play the, the alto saxophone. And sometimes I can be, I don't know if aggressive is the word, but I play with passion at moments. And I started to play those minutes like, pa, you know. And she was like, no, you know. <laughs> so actually, I want to say that what you identify, it's uh, through uh, Daniela's writing, but also she, she really knew what she wanted uh, and which type of uh, tone she was looking for. And I'm happy I, I was able to provide that for the music. But Thank you. you reminded me, 
I mean, there were times just the way that you were on stage, the way that you were just kind of at in this kind of one thing with your instrument, you reminded me of Miles Davis. And, you know, tonal-wise, too, I thought you were just like, and it, and it is kind of an aggressive thing, but it's very controlled aggression um, and, and very powerful. Um, the, just th that visual to me was extremely powerful. Um, what I, one thing that I, I mean, I'm not a, not a musician myself, but I've been I involved in this for, for decades. And one of the things that I, that I truly love about jazz, and I noticed it probably most tonight on the last song, uh, on the encore song, was the, the conversation the, and the, f the, the language of jazz and that it's not words, but it is words. It is a conversation. It is an actual conversation between you. I don't know particularly what you're all saying to each other, but you're having one heck of a conversation. Am I kind of right about it? Yes, you are, you're correct. And uh, that was uh, uh, the most jazzy, jazzy song of the night. <laughs> so because that was a jazz standard, the blues, and uh, we didn't plan on doing that. And um, and we all, of course, know that tune. And um, I think that um, we were just um, finally enjoying more the moment and not having to read material that, you know, um, my compositions. So we were more looking at each other and um, connecting and interacting. That was uh, very important. But I think uh, because he's too quiet, I like him to yeah, say I'd something. Yeah, I'd like for you to so actually you know, Otherwise, take that you know, he, he gets yeah, upset. I'll actually, I, have, I can say something. Uh, maybe for the audience who's not you know, been exposed to jazz per se as a genre, um, like you mentioned Blackbird, you know, that of course has like jazzy elements in the reharmonization that you, you know, mentioned. But you can say that the spirit of the last song that looseness, the listening, is what informs the other ones. You know, you, you, you spend uh, years of playing in that sort of, let's say, the blues, which is one of the most important formats, and you determine many things of the interaction, and then you import that into original music, hopefully, and, and try to, to some degree, get to that same level, maybe in a more formalized, you know, uh, uh, because the, 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 the tunes that, that Daniela wrote, they are written but they're not written out like a Mozart piano sonata or, or you know, a Beethoven symphony. So we have things that we're trying to play, but we also have improvisation, and we also have a lot of looseness in what we do. I, in other words, it comes out differently every time, sometimes you know, better, sometimes worse, but it usually comes out in some way, in a certain way that's both defined but also open. And the openness is the thing you practice with the, the blues, for instance, you know? Because mm -hmm. the blues is such a simple uh, sort of cycle that I it can be maintained and be deconstructed and reconstructed in different ways and different styles and different ways, and you can still hear the blues. And so that interaction, the interactive element, is what then you try to maintain when you play other material. And that, that is basically the idea of jazz, constant, you know, in a free re reconstruction, re-innovation of sometimes even, you know, standards, like o o older tunes and whatnot. Right. I, I, the, um, the other genre of music or style of music where, where, where I think that you find a lot of that is bluegrass, where you can, where you, you can um, have a, a group of people sitting in a circle that have never played together, but you find that standard that everybody knows, and then you can... Right, and that, that's when, you know, when, sh when, when, when we said, oh, we, you know, we didn't get to rehearse, like, let's say, as much or that much, but we have played some of the music before, and we've played the music that leads up to this music, uh, and so and on top of knowing each other, and then there are certain sort of things, you know, functions of the instruments that you can kind of expect, but so you can, that's also jazz, that basically you can have, actually that's the fun part, you know, that, that jumping into that water, and something will happen. Uh, in, in one way or another, basically, based on that collective experience that has been gathered in, in decades <laughs> before. L <laughs> would it have changed the, the night? Would it have changed um, the, the sort of the, I don't want to say the structure, but would it have changed the evening if you had 
started with that and and became like really kind of loose and then then go into the that's can I can I s or you, would you like to say something about um, I'm thinking that um, that's interesting you say that and um, I feel that came right in the right moment because we we needed that freedom you know after reading and you know we needed to just uh, be free of you know charts and so if you start like that then you know especially this guy no I'm joking um, he's <laughs> you know you know it's um it just uh, you're not in the right mindset plus you know um my my music is influ influenced by jazz but is is a little bit mm, you know it's a little bit one step away you know from it as well so it has elements of improvisation but has elements of a lot of different um you know, music I listen to, and you know, I listen to Pat Metini, I, I listen to, you know, Brazilian, I listen to uh, classical music, you know, um, avant garde. So there are, there is a lot of influence. And I think starting with that song would have been maybe not appropriate. But it's a, um, I should try sometimes, you know, just, just to see what happens. Um, another thing that I, that I, Noticed, uh, and you you just touched on that a little bit was the um, the the trip around the world in your music because there is these I don't have the set list in front of me but there was um, it, it was probably midway through the set where the, it had sort of a almost had a Middle Eastern kind of a feel to it um, then there was you know moments where there was kind of a of a Brazilian Latin feel um, correct <laughs> um, I don't know where the Middle Eastern comes no, from yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, um, what what song am I thinking of Bertram you know what I'm talking about um, I think I think maybe the moon and the fisherman um, but maybe she should say something about this uh, well I'm from Israel <laughs> <laughs> well that's the Middle East thank you very there much you <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's where that came I don't I but there was something about the rhythm to that song. I don't remember um, what song. I don't know it was. if I think. Um, I think it maybe the second to last was it more like there? This was the Brazilian one there. Okay, yeah, maybe picked that up on that. Right, and then hint of spring was was. That's the that's the la 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 la. la. Um, <laughs> I think maybe the moon and the fisherman. Maybe it yeah, was. I, th I dark think the it dark was. One. I think that's. Yeah, yeah, and it had some it did, yeah. heavier percussion yeah. on that as well. Yeah. Was that the one where um, that featured um, Kial on the bass? He started off with a bass. Yeah. And then yeah, I think so. And then it got into a little bit heavier percussion. And then, yeah. you know, there was, I don't know if it's Middle Eastern or Moroccan or. Well, it had or a. It, it, you it know, there was something different. It's, there an was an, it's in an odd, you know, unusual. It's in five. So then also we kind of, I mean, I, I think of it like kind of like a, like a tango. Thing a little bit, but but uh, that has features of, of of sort of Middle Eastern rhythmicity, and it did kind of have some tom toms and stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, and your voice, the um, is is almost when you're singing lyrics, t totally different. But but just using your voice uh, is almost like a, a another lead instrument. You know, it sort of matches what the what the sax is doing. But that that was just so perfectly in, in pitch with, with one another, but I, I sort of hear your voice when you're not singing the lyrics to a song and you're just singing the, the, the harmony as, as almost another lead instrument. Um, and I find that to be it, it really, really interesting as well. I Thank kind you. Of th and there's been, you know, it's sort of, I, I think there were a lot of, th there was a few groups back in the day um, that that sort of had Manhattan transfer, I mm -hmm. think, used that quite a bit, you know, mm -hmm. used that, um, the voice as an, as an instrument as, as opposed to just singing the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So th that was kind of cool too. Did, did you have a good time tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Um, go ahead. I, I really enjoyed the audience. I mean, that's, that's the first thing because I feel that um, the the idea that actually people come to listen to music and uh, appreciate music and support music makes me really happy inside. I mean, really, 
you are you nurture my soul because I think that actually p places like this exist. I feel that um, I mean we were all thinking, oh wow, this place is amazing. I mean, you know the the equipment and and the people and and everything, the decor, everything you know just feels so um, so. How can I say so? Um, so warm, you know. Heartwarming. Yeah, yeah. So I and uh, we we felt that energy, and uh, we were. Um, I think that actually helped us to, um, you know, overcome the the video, you know, idea. And uh, uh, but I, yes, we all uh, enjoyed not only the the audience and and the place, but also the hospitality. You know, having a be beautiful green room. Uh, you know, with foods and, and, and teas, and uh, that was uh, um, especially mm, especially beautiful. And we thank you very much. Yeah, well, that's part of the thing we do is to try and. You know, thank you. You do great job. We we really appreciate that very much. It's um. I I I just, I, I just have to go back and s and just say it again. What an incredible night of music this was. I'm just. Just an absolutely beautiful night of, of, of music. Um, and I want to thank you all for, for being here and really just bringing it tonight. It was just great. It was just great to see and hear and experience this uh, great, great music. And um, God, I'd love to have you back here again. We love to. We love to, yeah. yes. Yeah, and I'll try to get the same band together. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it would be just be I just uh, I'm I'm kind of speechless about how how incredible this was tonight. So, thank you so much for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Let's hear it. One more time. Let's let's So, um Bert, I'm going to give you the honor. You get to uh, you get to say this. Go ahead, grab your mic. You get to say, Connor, roll the credits. Connor, roll the credits. Well done. Well done. Oh, well done. Thank you.